Okay, so welcome to this edition of Webinar Wednesday. Today, our topic will be discussing how to get started with Common Lit, especially if you are using Google Classroom. So I'll be talking about what Common Lit is and some ways that you can get started with Common Lit. And I'll also be talking about some wonderful features in Common Lit and why I think Common Lit really supports a variety of learners in our classrooms and also how Common Lit can help prepare students for um, spring assessments. I'm Carla Kuiper, Director of Technology Integration here in East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. You can reach out to me by email at kkuiper11 at ebrschools.org. I'm also here at the EBR Professional Development Center. You can stop by and see me or call me at one of the numbers that you see on the screen, 226-4800 or 226-4812. I work as part of a much larger tech integration team, and I've placed some um, information up on the screen about our school's, about our team's website, our YouTube channel, and also Twitter. And I will um, place those links in the chat box before the end of the webinar so that if you want to explore our website, you can. Um, for now, I just want you to know that we do have um, our website. And also, our YouTube channel is also available. And we've got a lot of tech videos and tutorials there. And you can also follow us on Twitter. I also want you to know that today's webinar is one of a series of free webinars and these have been going on since January and will continue until May. All of the information about each webinar is in GoSignMeUp. You can register, find sign-in links, and also check out descriptions of each webinar. If you get disconnected from the audio and you're listening to this live, you can also dial in using your phone and I'm actually going to stop and put the dial-in information in the chat box. So you can use that information in case you get disconnected. This webcast is being recorded. I am going to post it on the YouTube channel. Um, I will also be placing the link for the slides in the chat box. So feel free to use the chat tools and um, if you're connected with a microphone, if you can mute the microphone or just keep the level down, uh, that would be appreciated. Today's materials can be accessed in the chat box, and I will make sure that you get that link. And that will allow you to get today's slide deck. And Having said all that and taking care of the housekeeping things, I'll start talking about Common Lit. Common Lit has over 900 great readings um, as part of one really awesome website. Um, as you can see on my screen, there are short stories, poems, and lots of other types, selection types on the website. You can get excerpts, you can also get historical documents. The really good part about Common Lit and what sets it apart from websites that just feature text is that Common Lit also provides a set of evidence-based questions um, and text-based questions for every text that they provide. Uh, every text also has features to help you understand and also help students become better readers. The best part of all is that Common Lit is a nonprofit organization. They don't charge anything for the basic services, the text and the text dependent questions are free to teachers and students. In addition, Co Common Lit is connected to your Google account, so it's connected to Google Classroom. So to log in with Common Lit, you can click the login with Google button and select the account connected to your Google Classroom class. So what that looks like is, and let me go out for a moment, you're going to commonlit.org, and that link is in the chat box. 
And let me log out of my account so I can demonstrate logging in. When you get to Common Lit, you can select login. And you can you can create an account and sign up, but you really don't have to because you can log in with Google. And when you do that, um, you may need to put in your Google username and your Google password, your district Google username and password. Once you do that and authorize Common Lit to use your Google login, you um, can go in and then begin to connect Common Lit to your Google Classroom. The way to connect Common Lit to your Google Classroom is by going to Manage Classes, and it's also by going to your dashboard. So if you're at the home page, you may want to be wondering where I am. Go to My Dashboard, Manage Classes, and you'll see a button that says import classes and students from Google Classroom. So when you get into Common Lit for the first time, one of the first things you'll want to do, even before previewing a lot of the content, is that you'll want to get things connected to your Google Classroom. So to do that, hit import classes and students from Google Classroom. And you can um, select one of your Google Classrooms. Hit Next. Select the grades that apply. Um, selecting the grades does not limit the content that you can assign. A subject area, again, this does not limit what you can assign. and kit import. If everything works correctly, you'll, the next screen you see will say success, and then you can have your uh, students log in to Common Lit with their Google accounts as well. This will also allow you to ass make assignments to your Google Classroom from Common Lit. Then you can see I've got multiple classes connected at this point. If at any point I get new students in any of my Google Classrooms, you can see I don't have any students in these classes, but if I got new students at some point, I could come over to this button and sync with Google Classroom to update my roster. So if you need to frequently update um, your rosters because you add students um, throughout the year, you can sync those, those students from Google Classroom. I'm going to jump back to some slides and then we'll go back to Common Lit Live and look at some content. So, in terms of looking at the content on Common Lit, experts on reading instruction tell us that reading instruction works best when it's based on the needs of the students and not their age or their grade level. And that also reading instruction works best when it's differentiated as well. So some of the things that I'm going to be talking about when we look at some of the texts on the Common Lit site are things like uh, features such as the dictionary, translation, text to speech, guided reading, videos, the highlighter, discussion questions, and also the ability to access real-time information about your students and their understanding um, of their reading. I'm gonna swap over to the live site and I'm gonna come over to this area called library. Now, the cool part about clicking the library tab is that you can check out the featured content. You can look at all of the texts in their library, all 900 plus. You can also browse by grade level, and you can see they start at third grade and go all the way up to 12th. Also by genre. And you can even browse things like text sets, literary devices, and themes. So I'm going to go to the featured content for this demonstration. And you can see um, these are the articles that they're featuring this month. And I will select, let's select um, a nonfiction article. 
featured this month. And you can see we, here we are in Common Lit. Now here is the uh, real meat of Common Lit. Here's a text that we have. It's about Marian Anderson. I really like um, that you can see a variety of things about this article, including um, a background information. You can take a tour on the text. And as a teacher, this will allow you to preview the text before you give it to students as an assignment. So I'm clicking the buttons here, and it's taking me step by step through this text, um, talking about the student introduction, the annotation tasks for students so that they can take notes as they read, the types of questions. So there are some guiding questions, assessment questions, and also discussion questions. You'll see the next part of the tour gives me some information to help me help struggling readers. And then it's also showing me how I can save this to my favorites. And then also how to find paired texts. Finally, or next to last, is how to download the PDF. And then also how to assign the text digitally. So the tour is really nice when you get started with Common Lit for the first time. It really does take you through all of the major features. So once in the text, you can look at the questions that have been added, the guiding questions, or the questions that students will have to answer as they read through this text. And I may not have mentioned, but I am using Google Chrome, and so this is Chromebook compatible and really ideal um, in situations where students have access to the Chromebook or in a computer lab setting where students have access to technology. Notice that I can change the font size, make things a little bigger, I can download the PDF. So if I need a printed copy, I have that option to download or to print it out and give students a hard copy. I also have this toolbar on the right side of the page. And on the toolbar on the right side of the page, you're going to see several options. And this is all powered by Read and Write for Google Chrome. You, it allows you to select words from the text with your mouse and then click the button to look up the word in the dictionary. So if a student um, doesn't understand the meaning of the word segregation, they can highlight it, come to the dictionary, and get a definition of the word, and even get some audio support with that definition. On the next button, students can select to have the text read aloud from the beginning or maybe just to select part of the text that they want read aloud. The next two buttons control the read aloud functions, so they're to pause and then to stop the read aloud. The button that looks like a globe allows the student to select text with the mouse and then to translate the text. So I can make a selection here in my text and you can see at the top left, um, read and write within Common Lit gives me a translation on that text. So you're already seeing um, some of the supports that read and write adds to Common Lit. Um, support for students learning English and also um, read aloud support. Next, we have the highlighter. So I can select some text and highlight that text. The next button removes the um, highlights. And then finally, there's a toolbar that allows you to control text-to-speech settings. Keep in mind that um, you have the option to preview the guiding questions for students, the assessment questions, and notice they are tagged with standards. And these are part A, part B questions. 
And then there are also discussion questions. And in the discussion questions, students are not answering these electronically, but these make for really great um, question and answer or um, turn and talk sessions in your class with your students. The thing that I like about the discussion questions, even though students don't work with them electronically, is that um, in many cases on Common Lit, there are videos that go along with the discussion questions that demo different techniques. So there, there are these videos throughout the website that really help you put some preparation into uh, the discussion questions. And there are even um, discussion starters that you can download and use with your class. So discussion sentence starters, um, how to get students to provide examples, supporting ideas with evidence, paraphrasing, and so on. I also want to make sure I don't overlook these additional tabs that are um, at the top of the article. So even though we have the main text here, here are your paired texts. So the texts that are paired with the article by Marian Anderson um, that go along with the topic and the theme, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Changing America, and then also um, the many and the few, an article about Rosa Parks. You can access related media. So if students, um, have difficulty understanding the background about Marian Anderson. Here are some videos. There's also a teacher guide and a parent guide as well. When I'm ready to assign this text to my students, I hit this assign text button select one of my Google Classrooms. I can select one or more. Um, I can also select to assign to individual students. Um, I have the option at this point to decide if I want guided reading on. So if I want students to have those buttons where they can select or access the um, text read aloud help, I can make sure I can turn that on or I can uncheck that if I don't think that my students need the guided reading mode or if I don't want them to have the guided reading mode during this particular assignment. Notice that I can enable guided reading mode for everyone in the class or just for certain students. And then select a due date for the assignment. And all of this works best if you set your Google Classroom up first and then connect your Google Classroom to Common Lit. So you may be wondering why I showed you the Google Classroom part first and then the features of Common Lit second. Um, it, I think it really works out best if you go ahead and connect the two things. And then I'm going to select Assign. And then I can go into my Google Classroom and view the assignment. At any time, if I want to connect additional classrooms, I can go to my dashboard, manage classes, and then um, add import any other classes or students from Google Classroom that I'd like to, to import. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna pause and just find out if you have any questions so far. Okay, a few other things I'm gonna point out during um, this informational webinar um, are that um, you can use the text in Common Lit to support all learners. For example, you can use one text 
to support differentiation in your class. Um, by using features like related media, the discussion questions, paired text and guided reading mode, also um, the text-to-speech, you can take the same text but support students at different levels. And in many cases, um, that is truly what's difficult for teachers and students. Um, finding that support level or finding the right support level while giving students and for allowing students to all have access to the same text. And so this is one of the highlights, I think, of Common Lit and one of the things that I think they do incredibly well. So let's select um, one of the texts mentioned. I'm going to search the library for a poem called Mother to Son. And here it is. Once I pull up the text, again, I can I could take the tour of the text. I could also add it to my favorites. I've added it to my favorites. I could download the print copy. I can preview the questions for guided reading. I can also look at the assessment questions. as the teacher, and I can also pull up in those discussion questions as the teacher. Again, um, the features that support all learners or that provide a different learning experience for all students with the same text are things like the paired text from mother to son, and you can see the texts that are paired along. There's an article about Duke Ellington. There's related media. So if students um, need background information about Langston Hughes, the mother to son poem, you can pull up the biography of Langston Hughes on the related media and also information about the Harlem Renaissance as well. So the time period um, when Langston Hughes wrote the poem. Again, here's your teacher guide, parent guide, and the Langston Hughes text is one of the texts on Common Lit that comes with a lesson plan. So this is something that's been added to Common Lit that I think is also incredibly helpful. It's many of the texts have lesson plans that you can download and also student handouts. So there's the lesson plan and here's the student handout as well, a graphic organizer. So I think that if you are trying to support students at a variety of levels, if you are integrating technology in the one-to-one -one environment, you're trying to meet students' needs, you're also trying to prepare students for a, a rigorous assessments, um, being able to demonstrate or to provide evidence of learning, then I think that Common Lit has a lot of what um, you can look for out there and it's also making it very easy for you to use it to put it within your lesson plans and to execute it and implement it within your class. Some of the benefits for students of using Common Lit, one of the things that students can do when they log in with their Google account is that they can access their progress and it shows them which assignments they've completed and which ones they haven't completed. It also shows them a score, what they got correct as far as multiple choice and also short answers. And so students get the benefit of that feedback. They find their score um, after you as the teacher grade responses. So they can click through each assignment and then scroll through each question to see how they did to get that feedback once assignments have been graded in Common Lit. Common Lit also supports our students as they prepare for the design of LEAP 2025 ELA assessments, and that's here in Louisiana. So um, going to our LEAP 2025 assessment design, this is for grades three through 12. Um, you can provide students with practice and with assignments that mirror um, many of the features of the LEAP 2025 assessment because Common Lit focuses on 
close reading, reading a full range of texts across disciplines, also integrating the key ELA skills together and not uh, working with skills separately. A common lit supports uh, building questions worth answering, citing evidence from texts when answering questions about passages, and also common lit questions um, focus on words that matter most in text. So I'm going to pause here again and find out if you have any questions. Well, to, to wrap up this portion of this informational webinar, um, I'm going to talk about the support featured by Common Lit because no matter um, how well prepared or how much you may feel you know about a tool from um, an informational webinar or maybe um, a short presentation or a short demo, you may find later on that you have questions or you need support. So I want you to know that Common Lit has its own YouTube channel. And it is loaded with videos that you can access that are all about Common Lit, how to get started, things like um, the student preview, what it looks like as the student, summaries of key skills, how to use guided reading mode, mode to differentiate, and a whole lot more. Attached to this presentation is also a short web, a very 10 minute webinar about Common Lit presented by Common Lit. So um, all of these tools are available to help you get started once this webinar is done. And again, I'm going to stop at this point and just take questions that you may have about Common Lit. Um, and just keep in mind that this webinar is going to be worth one CLU and you'll receive credit and go sign me up for attending. Any questions? <laughs> 